Hi. Okay, today we're testing out some new software. This is Canva's Present and Record Yourself software. This is also an answer to another comment on the YouTube channel where people are asking for Bible study templates. So here's Bible study template number one. Okay, right here we have a prayer journal. This is a PDF that was designed in Canva and let's go through it. So you got the beautiful little prayer journal, page one. Again, you don't have to print this page. You can, it's just there for me to make it look pretty, a nice presentable layout. So here's the layout. We want to make sure that we record gratitude when we're studying God's word. We need to be memorizing his verses. We need a daily Bible reading plan. You need a devotional time and then you need to apply it. So those are the five things that I think you should address when you're doing this. All right, we're going to go to the first layout. Okay, so study. This is God's word. So these are just examples of three different verses that you can study. I have 2 Timothy 1.7, Colossians 3.17, and Joshua 1.8. So let's look at 2 Timothy. Ready? For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Now, that's a great verse to use if you are starting an online ministry journey and you're unsure. This could also be used as scripture art. There's links below for turning that into a beautiful Canva print, printing it out in a PDF and putting it on your wall or on your background. Great, great uh, verse to use. All right. So if we chose 2 Timothy 1.7. Let's move over here. So what is one thing that you're grateful for from that verse? You would put it right there in action number one, gratitude. What are you grateful for? So gratitude for having self-discipline and not having a spirit of timidity. All right. We have a spirit of um, integrity, honor, um, perseverance, and endurance. Those are things that you can be grateful for. Um, memory verses. So are you going to memorize that one? Or maybe you can find a cross reference to it. You're going to write those down and the dates, and you're going to study those. I'd recommend put those on a three by five and, um, and having that written around um, your house. So the next one is daily re reading. So this is where you track what you read that day, the context, the outline. So for example, if we go back to 2 Timothy 1 7, you're talking about Timothy. Who is Timothy? Why is he even writing a book? Why is he in the Bible? Um, I'll give you a little hint. He was an apprentice, all right? Um, look at the context of who he is. Is that the Old Testament? Is it New Testament before Jesus, after Jesus? Um, this is New Testament and it is after Jesus has ministry, okay? Uh, but for example, Joshua. Joshua's Old Testament. Those things matter. You've got to understand the culture. It'd be like someone watching culture today from all our social media 200 years from now and not understanding why all, we were consumed with doing little dances and tricks on uh, reels and TikToks. And they're like, we don't do that anymore. Maybe, maybe it'll still be trendy. Who knows? So understanding the context of things. All right. So you read that. What's the outline? Let's move on to step four. This is your devotional time. And I really encourage you to map it out. So diagram the truths revealed through scripture, center the diagram on the main topic. Uh, what was the main topic there? Remember, it was having a spirit of... And that's where you're going to fill it in. You're going to fill in what the topics were there. And you're going to branch those out into areas of your own life. What is something that you can be more self, have more self-discipline in? What is the spirit of not being timid look like? What does that look like? Have those terms there. This is where you're going to reflect and really write down what this verse is saying to you. And um, I recommend using the blue letter Bible. I'll drop a link below again, explaining how you can use that to dive into the terms that were used in this particular verse, the Greek words, so you understand the context and the meaning of those words specifically. And this is where you would do that. This is your devotional time. You're devoted to the word of God. Okay, application. Now let's apply this to your life and where you are. The truth will set you free, true freedom from the bondage of sin that weighs us down. How? Surrender. Complete, total surrender. So what could you surrender today from this verse? How can you apply it? What are your feelings, your thoughts, your evil desires, lack of action, trust? Really, This is how I have made this. Um, again, this link will be given to you. You can 
Uh, I give this away freely. You can edit it, you can modify it, make it your own, change the colors, change the fonts, or just print it and use it, okay? This is all about bringing faith and tech together, okay, to meet you where you are on your journey. And what is it in your life that you could surrender right now? For me, it has been feelings of timidity. It has been a feeling of who am I? Why, why should I start a YouTube channel? Who am I to start a YouTube channel? Would anyone watch? Is anyone going to watch? Is this going to be helpful? But God didn't give me that spirit, did he? Let's go back to that verse. Let's dive right back in, okay? For God gave, did not give us a spirit, uh, make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline, all right? The spirit of God has given me power, love, self-discipline, power, I have the power to do this, okay? I'm not going to give up. I have a power of love. I love people. I have compassion on people and I want to help people, but I've got to help them in the season that I'm in now in self-discipline. And you know what? That doesn't come easy to me. And if you feel that way, give me a hands up or an amen. Self-discipline takes a lot, a lot of hard work. And some days I am all in it. And some days, I don't know. I just, I'm not, okay? I'm not. And I'm just going to be real honest and raw with y'all because that happens to me and I'm sure it happens to you. But God has given me a spirit of self-discipline and it's time for me to start stepping into that and getting out of that spirit of um, being timid and fearful and worrisome. And so right here, this is how you would use this Bible study template. I hope that it will encourage you. And if you have found this useful, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to have more videos. And again, I will make more Bible study templates. Or if you have any uh, ideas or examples or a theme that you'd like, let me know. And I look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Take care.